I'm back. <laughs> okay. You know it's serious when I have to light my sage and what is in this? Sage, lavender, rose petals, and cedar and rose quartz um, crystals. I love sage. <laughs> it's just there's so many things going on um, with my life. Uh, you ever feel like you get more bills in the mail than checks? <laughs> and I was like, can I just get checks from now on in the mail instead of bills? Because it's just like, I can't. I cannot. Um, <laughs> it's too much. Um, it's just been too much. Um, but I titled today uh, chat as, am I too old to be a girlfriend? <laughs> What do you call yourself when you're over 35? Okay. Do you still consider yourself a girlfriend? Do you just say, you know, I'm his woman. I'm his lady. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's, that's my man. You know, that's my bae, boo, whatever. But the term girlfriend, boyfriend, is that just too young of a phrase? You know what I'm saying? So I was just thinking that because, because the, you know, I and this, we were talking about this because, you know, we made official, well, we were together, but he made, we made official like a couple weeks ago, but we've been together like six months. I really don't feel like it's been that long, but it's been that long. And so as we started, like since COVID started and whatever, and like the years winding out down when, um, I mean, soon enough, it'll be like a year and it's just like, you know, it's just things been flying. So I've just been like contemplating this, like, you know, he'll say my girl, you know, and I'm like, I don't like that because it makes me sound young, but yeah. So, and I'm like. I can't say my boy because that sounds weird. You know what I mean? And so, like, I always say my man, but I still feel like, I don't know. What do you say? My dude? My guy? You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't know. I'm trying to find a phrase that is, like, befitting, you know, of our situation. Because, like, do you, I don't know. Like, I mean, after the divorce and everything, we're at a, we're more mature and everything um you know it's a serious relationship so it's just like what do you call us what do you call these things you know what i'm saying um something to think about like <laughs> should we coin a new phrase what should it be you know what i mean so i'm just like i think about these things like hmm <laughs> hmm what do we think so yeah like it's just i don't know i um I try to think of like lighthearted things because things are just so like heavy these days. Like I'm so glad I have like my new job. I love it and everything. And it's not the job that I'm, the place that I'm at. It's just like all of the things that I require to do as teachers. It's just been a lot. Um, hence the sage <laughs> because it's just like. We're trying to keep these kids so quote unquote unquote safe, right? They need to be six feet apart, desk, and when they're walking in the hallways, they gotta wash their hands. It's like it's just so much. You know what I mean? It's just so much. And and then like I gotta teach kids at home virtual life with kids in person. And I gotta make sure they don't get too close. Oh my god, they you know, six feet apart, you know, tell middle schoolers today six boys. To say six feet apart is just like before COVID, it was already hard telling kids to stop touching each other, especially boys. They keep hitting each other, punching each other, and all that kind of stuff. So it's just like I can't even imagine what elementary is like right now. But as like middle schoolers, you know, and like I would say generally the school that I'm at, the kids are actually good, you know, so I can't complain. But it's just like it's stressful because when I think about the gravity of it all um 
not just the kids getting sick, but even like me or the other teachers that could possibly die. Like you just don't know who's going to die from it because people are. And that's just super stressful. And then we got to take grades and then we're going to get um, evaluated and all that kind of stuff. So it's just, and then there's a state test and it's just like, oh my God, uh, you know, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot, and it's just like, you have to breathe, you know? Um, you gotta breathe. And then, like, on top of that, co-parenting is still difficult. Um, the ex and I, you know, we're dealing with the girls um, still, you know, doing week on, week off, same thing. But the oldest is five she's in kindergarten and she's still doing virtual we're not letting her go back yet and that is hard i that's the part that's hard because it's just like even with covid i'm still like i love for her to go to school like i want her to be there with her teacher in person i want her to experience kindergarten like you know what i'm saying and with her friends I never in a million years thought this would be my child's kindergarten experience. I had so many ideas in my mind of what my daughter's kindergarten experience would be like. And this obviously is not it. And it's so depressing. But she's doing really well. She's so cute because, like, she knows how to work a computer. And when she's, like... <laughs> When her teacher, she's raised her hand on the computer, you know, they get the Google Meets, and the teacher's like, okay, Daria, and Daria knows how, like, to punch the mute, the unmute button and talk and mute herself. And I said, well, Daria, like, you need an answer. She's like, no, mommy, I can't. I can't talk right now. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm going to stay out of the way. Like, it's, kids, the younger they are, I feel like they're so much they adapt better to things than we do as adults. You know what I'm saying? I can see the difference even with the kids I have. They're in eighth grade. Even though they're young, the adaptability is still kind of like strained. But the younger, I feel the younger generation, like they're just dealing with it. They're going with it. Um, you know, for me, like, I don't even know if she would even feel like a huge difference. You know what I mean? Because she's, she's an exact... Blah, blah. she's around her cousins at my parents house and she loves that so I don't feel like she's she herself feels like she's missing out on anything you know I think that she 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 talks about loving school she loves her teacher teachers um I asked her about I said what do you I, I just want to see what she thought about like just what difference in um her her peers like as far as ethnicities and stuff and so I said, well, I said, well, Daria, what do you think about your peers? Um, um, do they look like you or, you know, how they, what are they like? She goes, well, some look like me, you know, some are like me, but then she goes, some are white, they're white kids. That's what she says. And then she goes, and then there are, they're brown like me, but then there are other, like, then there are other students that are brown. They're brown students too. But they're not like me. They're other, like, they're brown, but they're not like me. And so I know what she means, you know what I mean? So it's just like, she's like, yeah, there's other brown students, you know. Um, but it's like she, I think she's talking about Hispanic kids. And I just think it's, like, really cute that she's able to see differences like that. But it's not, like, a big deal to her. It's just like she sees a different hues, you know. And, um... I don't know, like, I, I just thought it was really cute, and just how she is, um, she's dealing with it a lot better than I am, <laughs> you know, um, dating during COVID sucks, you can, you know, you can only go so many places, places are closed super early, um, you know, there's just really not a lot you can do. Now, let me tell you about the skating experience I had. Okay, so... Yeah, I bought these skates. They're awesome. Okay. Like cute, and I mean. They're white. They got the the clear skate the wheels and everything. So I always prided myself in being a good skater for years. Because I have my own skates, right? I don't do rentals, or whatever. If I have to, cool, but if I can have my own, 
always have my own. So I haven't been able to find the ones I used to have from like high school. I can still fit them. I just don't know where they are. So, and I love those things. So, um, my dude and I, you know, he's like, he's big into skating. He's from Detroit and like, you know, a couple skates. Now I've always wanted somebody that could, um, skate like couples. You know what I mean? I've always wanted to do that. I can't skate backwards. I've always wanted to. He can skate backwards when I think it's adorable. And I'm like, again, it's a dream for me. So this is a dream of mine. I've always wanted this to happen, right? Wanted a dude to like skating as much as I did, can skate. So we go skating, we're out of town. And so I don't really know the skating rinks there and everything like that. So we find one that's actually open, okay? And the first thing that these folks say to us is like, you do know that Sundays, well, Sundays are for, you know, older crowd. They have like old school skate on Sundays. So we were there on Saturday and I was like, oh, there's going to be a whole bunch of kids up in here. So, of course, there's a whole bunch of kids up in there. And I always, as a teacher, people who aren't teachers do not understand. They cannot identify with this. When you aren't working, you don't want to be around children that you teach, the age group that you teach, not the kids that you teach that generally, but the age group. You just want to like separate that, right? So it's like all these middle school age kids are there acting a fool, right? And I'm like, so I've already annoyed at that, but the music is good. So I'm like, okay. So I'm thinking I'm about to do it. I have to, I tighten the wheels. Like, I really didn't do a good job with tightening the wheels and loosening the wheels. So, I was, like, all over the place, like, with the balance of it all. And I was like, oh, man, I need to, like, adjust my wheels. So, I'm thinking this in my mind. I get on the floor. The floor is janky. It's so janky. It's, like, pitch pat, like, patchwork quilt type of floor. You know, nothing is, it's not smooth like most of the floors I'm used to. It's, like, and it's dark. So, you can barely see that there's divots and holes and this and that. So, skating, I'm skating. I'm trying to be cute, you know what I'm saying? Trying to impress. Y'all, why did I fall? Why did I fall? Why did I fall? Oh, my God. And not even like a cute fall, not like a little, oh, I'm falling, you know? When you know you're about to fall and you kind of can lean for it and laugh it off. No, 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 no. This was not that kind of cute. I mean, not cute fall at all. This was the fall on your fat on your butt slash back fall. Like, no, like... I slipped on black ice kind of fall. No, like, warnings. And so, I was so, like, when I tell you I was so shocked, I was just, I was stunned, stunned, I tell you. Like, I was, I sat there and I was like, I can't believe I just, I never fall. Let me tell you, I never fall. This is, I never fall. Like, I'm able to balance myself so well. And I, like, y'all, I cannot get it together. So I was like, and I was in pain. Like, I felt so old. Like, there's nothing worse than when you fall and you feel it immediately when you get up. Like, all of it, all your joints. And it's like, you can't recover quickly like when you're a kid. It's like, I'm officially old. I know it. I can't even, like, get it together, right? And you can't play it off. I can't play it off. And so, like, I get off the floor, take off this, the skates, try to adjust them. And then, like, even though I didn't, I think, well, I did fall one more time. But I still couldn't get it together. Like, I couldn't understand why I couldn't get it together. Like, I couldn't, like, I'm the one that crosses my legs and doing all these tricks and flips and everything. I can't do it backwards, but I can do everything else. And I just couldn't get it together. I could not, like, y'all, I couldn't even. And it was like, I'm wobbling. Like, I, like I'm like i like a beginner skater here. And I just, y'all, I'm telling you, it was like, I almost wanted to quit. Like, I was like, I was so embarrassed the whole time. So he's trying to show me how to skate. Like, I'm some beginner, you know. And I'm like, I know how to skate. Y'all. He was trying to show me how to couple skate. I'm like. <sighs> that was the most embarrassing moment of my life. Like, I thought I had some pretty mo embarrassing moments. That's got to be by far the most embarrassing. And then, mind you, he rolls away. Like, when I fell, like, he, like, rolls. Like, I didn't even fall. Not turn around, hey, are you okay? Pick me up. He's still skating. And I'm like, dude. 
And so, like, I know he wanted to laugh, but he, let me tell you, he didn't laugh, like, really hard, but he, like, chuckled. You know what I'm saying? So, then I was like, I need to tie my skates. I need, I was trying to find, like, all these reasons why I couldn't get it together. Because it was just so hard to turn. It couldn't get, it was just weird, you know, to me. Um, so, mind you... After all that big talk that I did, I just look like a fool. I look like a fool. You know, I look like that person I was bragging on at that time and nothing happened. So, I couldn't be oppressive. So, basically, you know, he's trying to show me how to do this skating thing and it just didn't work out. And I'm just like, I feel, because he used to do it with his sister-in-law. And I just wanted to be that person and I couldn't. So, mind you, I'm very competitive and I don't, I'm very driven and I don't like things to to get me down like that so I got online and this is what I found out so I'm not a terrible skater I thought I was and mind I, I went outside in my house to skate in the driveway and I fell again and my daughter was like mommy you just need to like not do that like you need to take them off and take a break okay so after that that's when I got online it's so, <laughs> when your daughter tells you to take a break take your skates off you know it's bad so Basically, um, I found this lady and she was on YouTube and she talks about like how to adjust your skates, right? She said, when you buy brand new skates, they are manufactured to just like, they just tighten them all up, you know what I'm saying? To make their, sure that none, none of the bolts and everything are loose, they don't fall off and then they ship them out to you. So when you get them, you, half the consumer, have to adjust them yourselves. I never knew that. I never knew that. Um, because the skates I had, they just tend to work really well for me. I don't know why. So, um, I just didn't know that was a thing. So she was saying, you got to get this, it's a certain type of tool. Okay. And she was showing us like the, you flip your skates over and then there's a certain type of plate at the bottom. And if you have a certain type, you got to use a certain type of tool, right? So the type I had, I need like just one type of wrench or whatever to, to like loosen like the axle of it you know what i'm saying so like when you're driving a car you have an axle and it makes the car you know what i'm saying so that your car can be flexible so what she was saying is if yours is like this and it's doing that that's what my skates were doing right and she said you can't turn and everything like that she's like they're too tight and you gotta loosen them that's what happened to me. So I'm like, oh my gosh. I felt so much better because I was like, oh my gosh. I almost hung up my skates. I was like, I'm never skating again. It's not for me. I'm done. Because I'm telling you, I was so sore. My back still hurts. This is from like last two weekends ago. So it's like, but yeah. So when she told me about, when like when she explained that, I felt so much better. And then how to loosen your wheels to, to be a certain way. They can't be too loose and too tight. You know what I'm saying? And so I was like, oh my gosh. So let me tell you, I ordered that tool. And once I get my skates together, it's going to be a whole nother story on here. You know what I mean? I'm going to do right. It's going to be epic. Okay? I'm going to look like a pro. Don't even. Like, I was so upset. I'm not even going to tell you. So most embarrassing moment. This really should be called my most embarrassing moment. Period. Not, I'm going to change the name. My most embarrassing moment on a date so yeah like so but he was really sweet and he could have really made fun of me and he didn't um but yeah so i'm still trying to think about like how to go about this whole name thing like what do we say you know um as grown adults and so it's something else but i'm gonna leave it there <laughs> Hope you enjoy my most embarrassing moment of my life um, at this point. I thought falling down this bleachers at a, a football game outside was going to be one of my, you know, top moments. It's a top moment for sure. So, <laughs> yeah, totally. And I fell like on my face. So, that's a whole other story. <laughs> but with that, um, it's all good. And <laughs> until next time, peace.